Hey guys, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and it's game three. Here's the pitch. The uh, 1973 World Series. This one is going to pit the Aces Tom Seaver versus Jim Catfish Hunter. And uh, I want to uh, go over a couple things. In the previous game, it was Vita Blue gave up a three-run shot to Jerry Grody and that was a major difference I think it was a seven to two final the Mets pull it pull it off or pull it out and uh it's one to one now and uh in game game three went to 11 innings game two went to 12 innings so game three goes to 11 innings and it's the athletics that pull it out three to two over the Mets both teams had 10 hits one error uh, two errors for the Mets one error for the A's in this game, it was played uh, Tuesday, October 16th, 1973, 54,000 at Shea Stadium. And uh, we're right about to begin. So let's, let's get down to business. All right, it's uh, Tom Seaver versus Bert Cabaneris. Game three of the 73 World Series. It's all tied at one. And this is a 246. 246 is going to be a bouncer to short, picked up by Harrelson over to first, and they get Campy for the first out of the game. Tom Terrific is on the mound, the franchise. Here's Joe Rudy. And that is a 4 and a 46, and that will be a strikeout. So, Seaver blows a fastball by Rudy for out number two of the game. And here's Sal Bando. Don't need a D20. That's from another system I was using. 215. 215. And he checks his swing. The check with the first base, base umpire. And he went around, rings him up. No runs, no hits. Ru Bando doesn't like it. But he takes off his bag gloves and puts his bat down. And uh, we move to the bottom of the first. No score with the Mets coming to bat. Sorry, I just started the game. It didn't do any lineups. For the A's, it was Campy at short, Rudy on left, Bando at third, Jackson cleanup in right field, tennis batting fifth at first base, Vic Davalillo, the center fielder, Fossey, the catcher, Green, the second baseman, and Hunter, the pitcher. All the players are included that I could see in these sets, and that's a, a plus definitely for me. I like to play the you know, actual uh, lineups. Not necessary, but it's just a, kind of uh, an infatuation that I have. For the Mets, who are coming up and they're going to face Jim Catfish Hunter, it's going to be Garrett, the third baseman, Mian at second base, batting third is Staub, cleanup is Cleon Jones, the left fielder, batting fifth is the hammer, John Milner, Jerry Grody, the catcher, batting sixth, seventh is Don Hahn, the center fielder, shortstop is Harrelson, uh, eighth, and then Tom Sears batting ninth. Here's the pitch to Wayne Garrett. It's going to be a 651. And a 51 is going to be a walk if it's a one or less, and it's not, so that's a ball. Again, that is a three and a 54, and a 354, and that's a swing and a miss. And down goes Garrett. Jim Catfish Hunter gets him with a curveball. Here's Felix Mian next. Choking up about 10 inches on his bat. It's a 241, and a 241 is going to be a ground ball and through into, uh, he's batting righty, so that's into left field, through the hole between Bando and Campanaris. Played by Rudy on a hop and gets it back into Campy. On at first is Mian. Rusty Staub is next. Catfish Hunter checks in with Fossey for the sign. Sets and deals. And that is a 6 and a 16. And a 6 and a 16 is going to be, oh, there we go, to the power chart. Catfish Hunter is an adjustment of minus 2. And we've got a 645. 645 is going to be a 38 minus 2 is a 36. And on Rusty Staub's power chart, that's a single. Runner will hold. So first and second, one out. Here is Cleon Jones, the pitch. And that is a 262. A 262 is going to be a ground ball to second base. We're going to go to second for one, back to first, and it's going to be a double play. 
And we go to the top of the second inning. No runs, two hits, one left. And here come here come the Athletics against Tom Terrific, the franchise. Crowd here in Queens is large, of course, for a World Series game three, but especially because it's Tom Terrific on the mound. Very popular player for the Mets. Reggie Jackson, left-handed hitter, and here's the pitch. It's a 534, 534, and he swings and misses. So Siebert gets him with a fastball, blows it by Jackson. Here's Gene Tennis. And that's a 163 and a uh, 163, uh, one, da, 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 a 163, and that's a fly ball left field. Cleon Jones is there for out number two. Here comes Vic Davalillo. And that is a six and a 61, and that's. He's a righty, no, he's a lefty. It's a fly out in the gap in right center field. And on the run is Staub. And Staub, who has a bad shoulder, runs it down to retire the side. No runs, no hits. Three up, three down. Bottom of the second, John Milner. Jim Catfish Hunter, 463. And it's going to be a fly out center field. Right there is Davalillo for the first out. Next up is Jerry Grody. And that is a 424, 424, and that's a hard hit ball to right at Campaneris. Over to his left, fires, and gets him. Don Hahn, that's a 551, a 551, and that's a, he's a righty, fly out into the corner. Right there is Rudy, three up and three down. Pitchers duel, Tom Seaver here in the top of the third, no score. Seaver hasn't allowed a hit yet. Let's see if that changes. It's a 414, and a 414 is going to be a ground ball to Mian, and he throws out Fossey for out number one. Next up is Green. Green with a 262, 262, and that's a ground ball and through for the first hit against Seaver. So Dick Green is on at first. Next is a uh, pitcher hitting card, number one, and uh, he's a bunter, bunter two. All right, so Hunter lays down the button, and it's right in front of the plate. Grody picks it up. He has one play, and that's the first. So moving to second is green, two, four. Top of the order, Campanaris. We're in scoring position, the pitch from Seaver. And that is a 211, and that's a strikeout to end the inning. No runs, one hit, one left, and we're at the bottom of the third, no score. Catfish Hunter against Buddy Harrelson. Buddy Harrelson is a switch hitter. That's a 145, and a 145 is a strikeout. One down, Harrelson. Takes strike three. Next is Tom Seaver. He's got his old batting card. That's a 515, and that's a strikeout. Back to back K's for Catfish Hunter. Next is Cleon Jones. That's a 665, and that's going to be a ground ball. Not Cleon Jones. Who's. No, no, no. Should be Garrett. I'm sorry. Wayne Garrett is up. Well, how did Cleon Jones get in there? He's batting fourth. Wayne Garrett with a pitcher is a 665, and that's going to be a ground ball to the opposite field, picked up by Bando over to first, and that retires the side. No score. We go to the top of the fourth. I was three up and three down for Hunter in that inning. Joe Rudy leading off the top of the fourth against Seaver. No score in this game. It's a 4 11. And that's a strike. That could be a, an odd play, but I'm not using those. I'm still learning the game. And it's going to be a 4 and a 44, and that's a strikeout. So Rudy goes down on strikes for the second time. Next is Bando. 
pitch from Seaver. It's a 644, and uh, that's going to be a wild pitch. So that's going to be like a, I think it's a strike or a ball. I'm gonna do it again. Nobody on base. It's a 145, and that's going to be a, oh, it's going to be a base hit. He can stretch it into a double, but he is going to hold that first base. Thought about going, took a big turn, and decided against it. Here's Reginald Martinez Jackson, the pitch from Seaver. And it's going to be a 2-11, and 11, and that's going to be a drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfielders. And so uh, that's a double for Jackson. That's going to put runners on second and third. They're going to hold Bando. And here comes Gene Tennis. The Mets are going to bring the infield in. The pitch from Seaver. That's a 654. And a 654 is going to be a ground ball. He's a righty, so it's going to be a ground ball to third. Runners will hold. Davalillo up now with second and third. So this is a big spot for Davalillo and a big hitter for Seaver to get out. No score. That's going to be a 645, and a 645 is a pass ball. Oh, boy, look at that. And that's going to be the first run of the game. Coming in is to score is Bando. Going to third is Jackson. Wow, that's big. And uh, Dali is still up, runner on third. Here's the pitch, and that is a three and a 61. And that will be a fly ball left field over is Jones. He's under it, squeeze it for the out. One run comes in on two hits, and the A's lead game three by a score of one to nothing with the Mets coming up in the bottom of the fourth. All right, Catfish versus Felix Mian, and that's going to be a 646. And a 646 is a fly out to right. Jackson makes the catch, one down. Rusty Staub is next. That'll be a 456, and a 456 is a drive in the gap. On the run is Davalillo, and Davalillo tracks it down. Nice read right off the... The bat. Great jump. And that's a 232. And a 232 is a strikeout for Cleon Jones and 1 2 3 inning for Jim Catfish Hunter. Go to the top of the fifth. 1 0 Athletics. Seaver versus Falsy. And that's a 461. And that's going to be a fly out. Center field. Han. One away. Fossey flies out. He's over two. Next up is Green, who's one for one. He singled in the second. Here's the pitch. And that's a 614. And that's going to be a base hit. But we're going to look at the chart. Power chart. It's a minus 12. Wow. Minus 12. And that's a 451. 451 is a 24 minus 12 is a 12. And that's going to be a base hit for Green, his second hit of the game. And a bunt. So Hunter squares, and somehow there's some interference, and it looks like it's going to be an E2 catcher interference. It's going to be a sacrifice, so no and bat for Hunter. But he will be on a first base. This is a reminiscent of game two. So you get some odd things happening when you go to the bunt chart. Errors and, and, and uh, catcher interference and stuff like that. So proceed with caution with that bunt chart. Uh, don't use it very, very often. Here's Bert. I use it with the pitcher when a pitcher bats. Here's Bert Campanaris, and it's a 116, and that's going to be a ground ball to, to first base with runners on first and second. And it's going to be a, well, actually, yep, 363, double play. Goes from Milner to Harrelson, back to Milner, and the Mets are out of the inning. No runs, one hit, one error. We go to the bottom of the fifth. John Milner's up. Pitch from Catfish. That's a 114, and that's ball four. So Milner walks. Got a lot of walks in that first column. And next is Jerry Grody with a 265. And the 265 is going to be a ground ball to short. 
And I'm going to turn it. Double play. So Grody bounces into a double play. And two outs. Don Hahn. And that's a 431. And that's a base hit. Oh, but we got to go off the chart. Hunter is a minus two. Don Hahn. That's a 531. 531. That's a 60 minus two. A 58. That's a base hit single. Han is on at first with two outs. The Mets trail by one run here in the bottom of the fifth. Buddy Harrelson is next with a 6-12. And the 6-12 is going to be uh, 6-12, and that's going to be a home run. He doesn't have a home run, so that's going to be a single. Runner will hold at second base. And next is Seaver. And that is a 6-35. And that's a grounder to second. Played by Dick Green, and that retires the side. So no runs, two hits, two left. And we move to the top of the sixth inning. one nothing A's. Tom Seaver facing Rudy. And that's a 5-15. Let's see, a 5-15 a is a fly out. To, oh, that's a hit. That's a hit for Rudy, who struck out twice. And we're going to roll uh, minus 12. So it's a 634. And that's a 45 minus 12 is a 33. And that's a single. Single on Rudy's card. So a leadoff single for Joe Rudy here in the top of the sixth. That's the fourth hit allowed by Seaver. And it's a, 30, a 366. And that's going to be a strike again to Rudy. It's a 631. That's a strikeout. So Seaver blows a fastball by Bando, and he swings and misses, flails at it. Jackson is next. That's a 242, and a 242 is going to be a base on balls. So Seaver walks, loses Jackson, and he trots down to first. And here's Gene Tennis running on first and second with one out, and it's a 355. And a 355 struck him out. Big strikeout for Seaver. That's Seaver's third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh strikeout. Put that there somewhere. Seven strikeouts. And here comes Dick Davalio, who's flied out twice. Pitch from Seaver. It's a 421. And that will be a 421 is a number in front of the plate. I believe is a lefty. That'll be Seaver who picks it up over to first. Oh, just got him just in time. No runs, one hit, two left. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and it's one nothing game. Catfish Hunter facing Wayne Garrett, and it's a 625. 625, and that's a home run. Oh, boy. That's it way back into the right field seats, and the game is tied. Wayne Garrett homers. I think he homered in real life a couple of times in the World Series, from what I remember. Wayne Garrett did. Next is Felix Mian. I know the catfish gives up a lot of homers. It's a 114. And that's going to be a walk if it's one or less. And it's not. So it's going to be a ball. We'll do it again. And it's a 622. 622. And that's going to be a hit off the chart. And it's a 531. 531, and that's a 58 single for Mian. So back to back hits here in the bottom of the six for the Mets. The Mets have tied it with the solo home run by Wayne Garrett. Here is Rusty Staub, and that's a 556, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. Under it is Reginald Martinez Jackson for the out. That's the first out of the inning. Here's Cleon Jones, and that's a 6-12, and a 6-12 is another home run off Catfish, and that ball is way back, and that's gone. The Mets have taken a 3-1 lead just like that. Two-run shot for Cleon Jones into the left center field seats, and here comes the hammer, John Milner, pitch from Catfish, and that's a 2-35. And a 235 will be a ground ball, and that's a base hit up the middle. So 
Catfish is struggling here in the bottom of the sixth. He's been cruising the whole game. Say so he had a little bit of a struggle in the fifth with a walk and a couple of singles, but here he's given up four hits so far. So uh, he may get pulled at any time. All right, right around first, Grody's up. Catfish is struggling here in the bottom of the sixth, giving up four hits, including two home runs. You know, Catfish does give up home runs. Here's the pitch to Grody. See what happens. 623. And uh, 623 is, again, the base hit, and that's going to be it. Um, that's going to be it for Catfish. It's going to be a 612 minus 2. Uh, 612 is a the 83 minus 281, and that's going to be a single for Grody. Stopping at second is Milner. So we got first and second, and that's going to be it. And unfortunately, the pitchers do up in the next inning. So uh, I'm going to bring in Mangual. I'm going to do a double switch center field. Mangual is coming in. And then the pitcher is going to go into Davalillo. So we had uh, Hunter cruising, and all of a sudden, uh, Hunter couldn't get anybody out. Gave up a home run, a single, a fly ball to right, but then a home run, a single, and a single. So we got first and second, one out. It's Daryl Knowles facing uh, the righty Han. See what happens. There's a pitch, and that is a 126, and that will be a fly ball left field. Under it is Rudy. And that is two outs. And here's Buddy Harrelson, switch hitter, batting righty. Pitch from Knowles. And that's a 5-15 and a 5-15. That's ball four. So that's going to load the bases. Bases are loaded. And here's Tom Terrific. Pitch to Terrific. And that's a 254 and a 254 struck him out, and that's the inning. So Dow Knowles gets out of the inning, picks up two outs, allows a walk. The Mets leave the bases loaded, but they do score one, two, three, three runs on five hits. And they've taken a three to one lead going into the top of the seventh inning. So let's uh, let's go Mets. Tom Terrific against Ray Fossey in the top of the seventh. Mets lead it three to one. They scored three big runs in the bottom of the sixth. Solo home run by Garrett. Two run shot by Cleon Jones. And that's a 550, 555. And that's going to be a ground ball. He's a righty. That will be a ground ball to second base. Right there is Mian. And that's out number one. Green is next. He's two for two today. Let's see if he can make it three for three. Seaver. Wines and dough. That's fouled back. Souvenir for a lucky fan. Seaver again. That's a 224. And the 224 is a fly out left field. On the run is Jones. And Jones tracks it down. So Green gave it a ride in the gap. But Jones got a good read on it and was able to run it down. And now it's Mangua with two out. Nobody on it. So 131. And that is going to be a ground ball. And through the left side. Past the diving Buddy Harrelson and brings up Bert Campanaris, one on and two out. Here's a pitch, and that's a 462, and a 462 will be a cracks one to center field, and racing in is Han, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, one left. Go to the bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch. Get to that concession stand and grab yourself a brewski because they are shutting it down. Daryl Knowles versus Wayne Garrett, the pitch. It's a 535. 535, and that he's a lefty, so that's going to be hit up the middle. And right there is Campaneris over to first, and Wayne Garrett is out. He's one for four today. Does have a home run. Here's Mian, who's two for three. That's a 652, and a 652 will be, oh, an error. So ball hit back to Knowles, and he bobbles it and drops the ball, and Mian is safe. So it's a one-out error on Daryl Knowles, and up comes Rusty Stop. Here's the pitch to Rusty. It's a 666, and that's going to be a fly ball right field. Backing up a few steps is Stop. I'm sorry, is Jackson, and he gets under, makes the catch. So Stop gives it a ride out to right center field. Stop is there. 
I'm sorry, Jackson is there. Staub gives it a ride to Jackson in right center field. So that's two outs. And here is Darryl, uh, Cleon Jones. A 233 and a 233 will be struck him out. And that retires the side. No runs, no hits, an error. One left. And we move to the top of the eighth. Three to one Mets with Joe Rudy coming up. A pitch from Seaver. And that's a 256. And a 256 will be a. Line drive, base hit the center, and second hit for Rudy. Next is Sal Bando now. Seaver can go, can go nine. Here's a pitch. And that's a 634, and a 634 is a strikeout. So Bando swings and misses at a Seaver fastball. Blows the heat by Bando. And here's Jackson, the tying run. Good power. Could get a hold of one and drive it over the fence here. Here's a pitch. And that is a 552, and a 552 is going to be a ground ball to, he's a lefty, so it's a ground ball to short. Goes to second for one, back to first, not in time. Jackson beats it out, fielder's choice, six to four. So now it's tennis with good power. Seaver checks in with Grody for the sign, shakes him off. Now he likes what he sees and puts one down the pike, and that's a 466. And a 466 is a deep fly to right center field. Backing up is Staub and at the track and makes the catch. So no runs, one hit, one left. We move to the bottom of the eighth, three to one Mets. Game three of the 73 World Series, all tied at one apiece. All right, Paul Limblad is pitching. Start off the bottom of the eighth. John Milner, the Mets lead at three to one. Here's a pitch from Limblad. It's a 151, and a 151 is a swing and a miss. Milner down on strikes, one away. Next is Jerry Grody, and it's a 156, a 156, and that's a fly ball. Center field right there is center fielder Mongual. He came in as a late-inning double switch replacement. And here's Don Hahn. It's a three and a 65, 365, and that'll be a cracks one to left. Under it is Rudy, and that retires the side. Three up and three down. Last licks for the Athletics. They trail three to one. All right, it was a double switch. Darren Johnson leads off. Um, Right-handed hitter. Here's a pitch, and that's a 515, and a 515 is going to be a base hit off the pitcher card, so we're going to go... Now, Seaver's in the ninth. I believe he takes a loss on his PA, so I think it's a four loss because he's fatigued. Uh, oh, no, that's only if there's a run, only if he gives up a run. So it's a 623 and a 623 is a minus 12, is a 64, and that's a single for Darren Johnson to lead off the top of the ninth inning. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. And it's not Davalillo. He was replaced. It's going to be Ray Fossey with a runner on first. Here's a pitch from Seaver. And it's a 451. And a 451 will be a ground ball to, he's a righty, ground ball to short. And it's going to be a 643 double play. The Mets turn it. Big double play by the Mets. And now it's, so Green hits into a double, if that was, uh, wait a second. Had a single here and then a 6-4-3 double play there. And now it's Dick Green who's up. Here's a pitch. And that's going to be a 5-15. And a 5-15 is another base hit opportunity, minus, minus 12. So it's a 152. A 152 is 74. Minus 12 is a 62. And that's a line base hit single. So it's another single off Seaver here in the top of the ninth inning. And that's going to bring up Angel Mangual. For some reason, I was going to call him Pepe Mangual. So two out, one on, big double play turned by the Mets on that Fosse grounder. Uh, otherwise, that they would have the tying runs on base. It's a 3-1 to one Mets lead, and it's Mangual who came in and singled in the seventh. He came in as in a double switch when they brought in Knowles. And here goes Angel Mangual, who... Uh, had a 224 batting average. Here's a pitch from Seaver, 
and that is a 455 and a 455 is going to be a hard hit ball at Harrelson who flips to me on and that's the ball game the Mets win it no runs two hits uh, one left and the Mets win it by a score of three to one they take a two to one series lead all right so Seaver goes nine gives up nine hits strikes out eight walks one gives up one earned run uh, Hunter loses it and uh, I guess the big inning for the Mets was that sixth inning where they scored three runs on a solo home run by Wayne Garrett, a single, a fly out, and then a two-run homer by Jones. And that that would is what basically made up the three runs that the Mets needed, and they won it three to one. And uh, Seaver gave up nine hits. Right, and there was a the only run that Seaver gave up was on a pass ball, so it was, really was an unearned run. So I could have gave him a, a shutout plus in uh, after I think the seventh inning, but that's about it. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and continue watching the series. We're going to go to Game Four again. It's played at Shea, and it's going to be a repeat or a uh, rematch between uh, Holzman and Matlack. See what happens. That was an outstanding game. It was decided late in the late innings. It was one to one to late innings. Check that out on my channel. And uh, that's about it. Remember to join Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. And any information you, any questions you have about this game, uh, you can just search it, or you can uh, reach out to me or Kurt. Uh, Dominic is a great guy, and uh, he does good things. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care.